you've had a lot of really, you know, it, it took a, a while, but you've been, you know, you've had a lot of really personal stuff on your records. I it feel did like take it really, me a while. It wasn't until like 06, I think, wh- what's the song? Uh, Serenity and Murder, that you really started talking about, you know, some of the stuff going on with you mentally. <laughs> I think I was like really embarrassed. Um, I, I didn't when I when I started dealing with depersonalization disorder, I didn't even know what it was. So I spent years of my life. This is going to sound crazy to you. I, it might choke me up by talking about it, but. I spent years of my life thinking that I was dead and stuck in purgatory because I had, I smoked a blunt of dust before my ninth grade exams and felt like I was floating above my body watching it. You know, when you see those cheesy shows Mm -hmm. and people talk about the near death experience in their their body, that's how I live my life. That's what depersonalization disorder is. But it, it wasn't, it can't be treated. There's no cure. They can just treat the symptom. So I spent years of my life think, questioning, am I in, in a purgatory? Am I de- like heavy shit, man? Like would close my eyes and feel, uh, when I would lay in my bed, it would feel like it kept going. Like I was falling into the abyss. And I was 14 and 15 and 16 dealing with it. So by the time it came around to making music, I was like, I'm not talking about this shit. You know what I mean? Even saying it now, it's never like spoke about it other than the song I made about it. But I never spoke to anyone about that because it's not cancer. It's not autism. It's not this thing that people are so aware of. You know what I mean? And so few people know about it. And there's like two books about it. And when you read those books, the people's stories are people being like, I didn't know how to tell someone that I felt like I wasn't there, that I was living outside of my body, that I was felt like, is this what purgatory is? You know what I mean? Like purgatory that we were raised to think, you know, it's someplace inside heaven and hell. When did you get a name for it? When did you attach a name to it? Um, Late 2000. 2008, 9, 10, maybe around then. Wow. Yeah, like uh, when I would describe it to someone to someone or a doctor or something, it was like um, no one could tell me what was happening. So I was getting like a lot of like, sorry, kid, like here's pills that aren't for that, but I guess you should be taking something, you know what I mean? So it's like misdiagnosis, then placed on medication, that was not designed to treat this. So what is it doing to me physiologically or to, you know what I mean? And how did that affect me? And still to this day, you know what I mean? So it's like, um, I just kept trying to, uh, Google words, catch words, uh, you know, the realization or, you know what I mean? Words, words that I could think to describe it, hoping that that would lead me, to something you know what I mean and then I found the word and when I found the word I never I still live with it daily but I can tell you the craziest day in a good way was the day I heard like 10 people describe exactly what I've been going through since 1992 it was like a weight lifted off my shoulders it didn't fix the disease but it was holy shit other people deal with this you know what I'm saying yeah because it's what starts happening is when you when you have it, you only feel comfortable in your environment. And the irony of my life and the irony of the be careful what you wish for shit is I'm rapping in front of a mirror at nine years old, wanting to be cool C and steady B and wish that I can have a career in music and tour the world. Now, the thing that scares me the most is leaving my comfortable environment, which is my home and which is Philadelphia. Yeah, I was going to ask about that because there was, I read an interview with you, I think it was early last year even, uh-huh. and you said that like you hadn't toured because it had been difficult for you for like even the past eight months or so, it's, the prior eight months to, to leave 
your area. It's it's I'm I'm going through a, a lot of I'm struggling right now. You know what I mean? And it's like, what is the alternative? This is all I know. I don't have a degree. You know, I don't. Uh, I can't fix a car. You know. And the album tour cycle is still the the dominant mode. Correct. Yeah. I mean. Your job is to interview artists. You know better than anyone. I'm sure they've all told you that. Like, 